Good morning. I've just done the shopping again. Oh. I um, I was just yeah. I woke up really early and I couldn't sleep. And this, you know, stuff was going through my mind, and I was I was having the worst headache, <gasps> pounding, pounding headache. And um, the word stress, stress came up, came up a lot. And um, it's pertaining to how we exist in this construct, this concentration camp reality, and how demanding it is of our time, our energy, our attention, you know, our bodies in every imaginable way. It wants its pound of flesh, doesn't it? You have to do the shopping because you have to eat. You have to get there, you have to drive your car, you have to buy petrol for your car. You have to buy Christmas cards for everybody and you have to you have to buy them presents. And if somebody gives you presents, you end up feeling bad somehow. Instead of feeling happy, you feel bad because deep down you do, because you think, oh and I have to buy them a present, I have to ooh, stress, 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 pressure, pressure, pressure. You know. And it's through living in this in this this reality that the false persona is born you know um you, you know it's like an overlay <laughs> i guess it's it's part of the shadow our shadow is not just one thing you know it's made up of all these different people <laughs> here we go again it's made up of all these different aspects. You know, we are aspectual. <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> we are. Uh, the fragmentation process that I've spoken about earlier, and, and that is what happens. And the constant demands that this construct reality makes, makes upon us, creates, well, a, f a false persona. Um, the survival mechanism is that you listen to the stress and the fear and do what it tells you to do. You become reactive. So, I did something good for myself today because I was in a shop in the supermarket and my sister-in-law was there and I said to her, I said, listen, don't buy me any presents, please. Don't buy my husband any presents. Don't buy us a card. We're not going to buy you anything. Because I just can't be bothered. And I know that you can't really be bothered because we're busy. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually very busy, but I still can't be arsed, you know. And um, I just don't want to do it anymore, you know. Christmas is Coca-Cola. I don't care for it. It's bullshit. Um, maybe, I don't know, like uh, 2,000 years ago, the Germans had a, a sort of idea of how to celebrate Christmas, you know. A few human sacrifices and... Well, anyway, but it, it, Christmas is, is it's meaningless. All of this shit is meaningless, you know. It's like you have Christmas, you have Thanksgiving in America, you know, where millions of turkeys are slaughtered to be consumed. I don't, I don't like any of that at all. I think it's, it's wrong. Um, you know, I mean, I love animals and I don't believe eating meat is, is a good thing. You know, that's just my opinion. That's all that is. But, you know, um, you know, but it, it's pressure, isn't it? Oh, and Thanksgiving, and we've got to do this, and we've got to do that, and we've got to go here, and we've got to invite someone, and we've got to, uh, pressure, 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 pressure. Then you have Christmas. Then you have, you know, Easter, you have Valentine's, you have this, you have that. And, you know, um, it's, it's just all bullshit. It really is all bullshit. You know, if you want to get together with family and with people that you love and care about, you can do that whenever you like. You do not have to do that on prescribed dates, prescribed times. You do not have to live through this fake persona compiled of the stress 
and a pressure that you have to adhere to and react to and get frustrated through. All of that is bad for you, you know, and it makes us sick and it's sucking out, sucking out our energy. So I won't do it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I am not doing anything I don't want to do. And if people get upset about that, then at least I know where I'm at with that. And I can say, okay, that's fine. See you later. Goodbye. You know, because I don't need it. I just don't. I don't want to do it anymore. Freedom, true freedom and true liberation is about taking our power back, you know. And so when you become aware of giving your power away, doing something that you feel you have to do because you have to make other people happy or you have to satisfy the system or oh I feel this terrible stress and this terrible fear so I better do it so then that fearful feeling goes away and I start feeling better again that's bullshit that is you not being free and so when you become aware of that feel that feeling of fear you know allow that feeling to come up and know that it is not your master you are in control here you have the power to say you know what I am not a slave I'm not gonna do this I don't want to if you want to celebrate Thanksgiving if you want to 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 I don't know to dress in in a bin bag and walk around uh, you do that you do whatever the hell you like just don't do the things that you feel you have to do but don't want to that's all. That's it. You know? Um, there are so... The, 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 the shadow self is, is, like I said, it's compiled of so many different aspects. But one part of it is this constant demand. You have to do this. You must do this. You shoot all the shoots. Oh, you ought to have done this and you should have done that. And you must do this. Um, it's pressure and it's basically sucking out the life it's sucking out our, our life energy you know uh, it's like well I better because if I don't I start feeling really awful I get this really awful feeling and so I better comply I must comply you know it's like a fucking Borg comply comply you know um, you just end up a slave to these negative feelings and these negative reactive feelings within you are there because they want you to be a slave they want you to comply they want you living on your fucking knees so my advice to you is do not those feelings they won't stay there they'll they'll by the by they'll you know and you will be a lot happier and a lot freer and a lot more who you truly are, your true, authentic, real self. Your true creativity will bubble up to the surface. You know, it's living from your heart, it's living from your truth and saying, you know what? All this reactivity, all this, 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 this fake personality, this fake persona, this fake me being busy pleasing and oh yes, yes, oh, all this, it's, it's, it's poison, it's poison, you know, I ain't doing it no more, you know, and so the minute you start walking that way, you know, you will start to experience more freedom. It may take a little time. But it's worth it you know because um it's just a part of the prison and it lives within us and and it's it's wrong it's wrong you know um now this kind of stuff especially ramps up around like i said you know christmas times uh, thanksgiving or easter or birthdays or whatever you know and um <laughs> I mean, it's all under the guise of, oh, these are times for the family to get together and to relax. But from what I've witnessed, it's so much more about uh, black magic and sucking out our life force. Because I, so far, I've been paying attention again and I don't see any happy people, you know. I see people um, loading up their shopping trolleys with horrible, cheap, plastic crap, uh, Barbie dolls and poop 
fluffy toys because everybody's got to have one you know um, and um, already buying shitloads of, of meat which this is all meat that comes from these massive farms that they have where they pump these animals full of antibiotics and all kinds of crap where they give them genetically modified corn to eat corn is evil um, and then you are there consuming vast quantities of this meat it's toxic and people are miserable you know I'm not seeing anybody out there going hey you know I'm looking forward to spending some time with the family and you know it's meaningful and it's warm and it feels great and yeah lovely no not at all not at all it's all been hijacked you know by the corporations it's um they may have done this kind of thing like back in the 30s you know but it's not like that anymore and so I for one will not be doing Christmas anymore and I can't be bothered um, another thing <laughs> is it something that, that um, came up in a video I was watching and it made me think way well, hey, yeah wow um, I <clears throat> a friend of mine went to see the doctor her liver isn't uh, functioning very well and you know she's the sort of person who does a lot of yoga and a lot of meditation and she's not really awake and aware or anything you know but um there's no reason for her liver to be packing up i think it's because she's a very angry person she's full of rage she had a shitty childhood so she has every right and reason to be full of rage but she's not tapping into that and she's not releasing it and yeah, you know, I think that's why her liver is not happy, but that's not a story and whatnot, and that is really not my business. But she went to the doctor, uh, who referred her to another doctor, you know, the specialist in <laughs> the specialist in the hospital, uh, who said, Well, you know, your liver is packing up because you're so obese. Now she is taller than me and she weighs about fifty-nine kilos or something so that's a load of fucking bullshit um, it's like we're dealing you know okay so and, and weird shit like that has happened like I went to the doctor I went to my GP because my shoulder was sore and she said okay climb onto the uh, the examination table so I did and then she just stood there like that and I went oh, oh um, anyway get down again I was like, okay, so I got down, and she said, oh, well, I don't really know, um, I've examined you, but I don't really, and I'm like, you haven't examined me, this, I, I mean, it was really weird, really sketchy, you know, and I thought, what, and then when I heard this story about, you know, this woman, basically, um, it was very, very odd, and it makes me realize that something very strange is happening in uh, the DMZ, IA, reality, whatever. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed this, where, you know, I mean, remember Hillary Clinton? <laughs> you know, uh, they're all kind of, they're not functioning, you know, the computer is, um, it's, it's broken, it's all falling apart, it's really falling apart news readers celebrities ugh, i hate that word and all this crap um everything is 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 it's not it's not functioning anymore everything is glitchy and sketchy and falling apart right which i think is fantastic I do, I really do. I think that obviously these are organic portals because sold people are still, you know, with it. Uh, everything else, everything fake, everything uh, that is not of the light is literally beginning to disintegrate. Now, I take this as a very good sign and I say, yeah, let's have more of that, you know. Um, I think it's very good. And I just wanted to mention that, really. So. In life, especially around the holidays, do what you really want to do, what feels good, what makes you happy. Don't give in to the pressure. You know, if, if the pressure and the, 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 the sort of um, 
resulting emotion of <laughs> says you have to do this and you have to do that otherwise they will be angry and people will think this and woo -woo -woo, then know that you don't have to do it you know we're so used to getting that feeling of fear of like oh I better do that because else but you know see what happens when you don't give in to that and do your own thing regardless okay uh, freedom is a choice in many many ways freedom is a choice and you know you can make that choice and see what happens you know I've done it many times and you know what it's always worked out really really well and it's always served me and my highest good and it's always made me a happier freer more creative person so that is you know what I advocate uh, feel the feelings you know feel your feelings but do the right thing by yourself you know that is what warriors of the light do you know we're not mindless slaves in obedience to the dark side fuck that shit you know no way no so uh yeah just that is loving yourself you know so do that look after yourself look after your your loved ones but not to the extent that you are sacrificing your own happiness and your own well-being I mean that's ridiculous but that is what the system wants you to do so be aware of that know that see those traps and don't give in to that you know so um, having said that I wish you all, of course a very happy holiday season it's a bit early for that really isn't it I'll, I'll say that again in about a month <laughs> but um yeah there we are. Look after yourselves.